What are you doing over here? Aren't you supposed to be over there? Okay, run along. Go. Hello everybody, for all of you that's been following along with the fountain project, I went and got something else today. Okay, so this is the pump. It goes up here. This is a ball, a ball valve, okay? So I can make more water come out of here, less water come out of here with this, with this valve thing. So this pump pumps too much. I can't control it with this thing here that, like, that they give you on it. It doesn't work very good. I need to be precise. So this, instead of just pumping all the water up into the top of the waterfall, let's see here. You know, this, this goes up top. Now, to release pressure, I can just open or close this valve because once again, you, I can't have just a valve up here because if you have just a valve up here, pretend this isn't here, it's just one tube coming up here. If you put a valve up here, you're putting pressure on these pumps and you'll burn the pump out super quick. But there's a valve here, so it's not, it, it all, I'm gonna have this thing going full blast and I'm just gonna control it with this. And then all the extra pressure will come out here. Does that make sense to you? So it's not hard on the bearings or this motor or whatever they say. So I've done some modifications to the carving too. I don't know if I showed it very good last time, but here's my overflow valve. Okay, so the overflow water will come down here. Got another one going inside, and that will push the water back into there. I still have to figure out. Okay, so what I've done is I've carved this deeper. All right, I've carved this deeper. I've carved an extra couple little holes up into this eye. The water still comes out this way. I still have out of this eye. I have to figure that out. It's all trial and error. It's 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 not as easy as it looks. Oh, I also. Uh, Put some um, teak uh, sea tall on it. I still got to do the bottom. What do you guys think of that color? I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm going to get the pump in here. I'm not going to take you guys step by step. I'm going to show you the basic stuff you saw. How hopefully this pump will work now and slow down. I don't want water pouring out of this. I just want it to be a nice slow trickle. And yeah. Okay, so I got the pump in the back. I might as well show you guys real time. Now I'll plug it in and I'll adjust that. I hope it works. The guy that works at uh, the, hard, the hardware store used to build ponds, so he said this is a great, this is a great idea. Okay. Water's coming out here. That's almost like perfect here, I'll zoom in. But it's not coming out here. So what I need to do is I need to get my Dremel out and the copper pipe that's stepping up there, I need to lower the copper pipe a bit, okay? So it comes out the same time as this. I'll do that, stand by. Okay, it's totally working perfect the way I want it to work. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna move the ladder out, I'm gonna turn that pump up and I'm going to turn it down. Sorry, I'm going to turn the valve up and I'll turn the valve down. Okay, I think that's maximum. That's uh, the pump opened, the valve opened up all the way. Or, anyways, it's working awesome. It's perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, clean up, let this dry, repaint it, repaint all here. But yeah, no, super happy. 
super happy. Got to repaint here too. Okay, so I got all the water figured out. Um, like I showed you guys, I did one coat of sea. I still got to do some more on the bottom, the coat. But this is the sea tall here. Well, Seco Prolux, and here's the color here. I get this at Rona in Canada. This stuff, I think, is the best stuff you get for outdoor. Give it good three coats. Um, but it's never clear. There's never a clear color. Even natural is um, not clear. It's always got some kind of tint to it. This is, uh, I think they're sold out. I did, this is like, a, what's the other one called? Um, well, this is one that's in my Amazon store. This was like 20, 30 bucks, this air blower. See, it doesn't, there's a loud plane. It doesn't go through, like this tube doesn't have to come through, the air doesn't come through here. The, okay, start over, Jordy. This tube, for normal guns, that it would be here, and then the paint would come out this tip. But no, this tip blows air. Sorry, yeah, this tip blows the air, and it sucks the stuff out. So it's really easy to keep clean. I think the one uh, Peter, my buddy Peter Blair, introduced me to, was called Critters. Or uh, yeah, it's a, it's got a glass bottom. It's a bit more expensive, but they're really good. And uh, and it also comes with this filter, this little thing screen thing filter thing put that on there and pour your stuff in so I'm going to give this a really thick uh, second coat I'm pretty happy with the way this tea color turned out so you need an air compressor I don't know how much PSI I usually run it um, fast more PSI than is needed so you just put this on here clip it in make sure it's good and solid I've already turned my compressor down I said need to turn my compressor down more okay so I'll show you guys be spraying at a time lapse outside Sit down, sit, sit, sit. Good boy, gentle. Hi, cows. How are you doing there today? Brr. Good cow. Okay, I can see where I missed a little bit on the bottom. That's okay. So, I'm going to warn you, if you're going to do a project like this, have yourself a plan set out first because, well, that pump, that solution to have that T with the uh, circle valve or whatever, that valve thing on there, solved all my problems. So I know that for next time. So now I'm just going to let this sit outside and dry here for a day and tomorrow, and tomorrow or the next day if I have time. I'll uh, take it in the shop and we'll do a Big L grand finale. It's nothing special. I was just going to turn the pump on and, uh, you know, let the water, let the water work. Come here, grasshopper. Okay, so you know this uh, wishing wheel that I carved for a competition? 
I didn't really carve it for the competition because I had it half carved already and then I found out there was a sculpting competition so I entered it. You know, if it was, because the competition was by the ocean. If I was going to carve it for the competition I would have carved fish on it and it's the ocean theme thing, right? But so they called, they emailed me to tell me that I wasn't uh, selected as a finalist. I was like, gosh, kind of whatever. A little bit disappointed. But then I moved on and don't care. And then two days ago, they emailed me again and said the competition's been canceled. Well, why would you even email me tell me the competition's been canceled? Like, why would I care? I wasn't selected, so whatever. That's why I don't enter competitions or challenges or anything. This is a tree that I'm working, it's working on. It's all carved up. I'm the new King Sander, and uh, that's Western Red Cedar, but I gotta put stain on it tomorrow. But here's the, what this video is about. I got uh, three coats of, no, sorry, two coats of Cetol on there. And Cetol likes the sun. This is teak color Cetol. I know it's dark piece. I wanted it dark. And you see how the sun gets through there? I'm going to put a board over top of the back so you don't see it. So I just wanted you guys to see it in the sunshine. It's koi fish, koi fish, maple leaf, maple leaf, whatever. So... The Cetol likes sun, so I'm going to let this sit out for another day out in the sun before I run the water down it and do a final for the video. But anyway, so you guys can see it. I don't care if you see my license plate. So let's set up, uh, let's come back tomorrow and do a final for this. See if we can get her done. For you. Yeah, I know some of you are saying you pull a dolly, you don't push it. I push it because I need to see where I'm going. I can't afford to fall down walking backwards and hit the hole in my head. Lots of you probably are like, you just look backwards. Well, here's my answer for you. Do you guys got a three inch hole in your head? Probably not. Just car Rob, look. I got a Michigan shirt. Today is sponsored by Michigan. Made in Michigan. I'm made in Michigan, but I moved to British Columbia when I was younger. Okay, let's uh get this sucker in the shop. Oh. Okay, let me close that uh, back tent door. Get some, get a bucket, get some water in here, and uh, try it out. You know how many times I filled up and had to drain this bucket with my uh, shop vac? Lots. Hey, uh, Jess Carve Raw, you got a Michigan shirt? I do. Actually, my buddy Tyler that uh, bought my Viking Throne hooker chair, stripper pole chair, Tyler, from he bought me some. He went through Michigan, and I told him I want a Michigan shirt. He bought me four. <laughs> so, anyways, I want to take a few minutes to talk about a project like this. I think a project like this, it's better if you plan it out. You know, I'm going to do some, probably this winter, if I can, I'm going to do some smaller Dremel carving waterfalls but um first of all you need a pump i think the ones on amazon most of them are junk go to a good pawn store and buy a good pump for a big one like this for a little for a little what drummer one buy a cheap amazon one but make sure it goes it says how high it goes because that's the, i think that's do the ghp ghs or something one number and lots of people on my videos including just carve rob said just put a valve in it like this, just put a valve in. So I didn't, after talking with Just Carve Rob, after I said I put a, oh, cause this, 
is going to sit in the in the bucket right down below and this is going to push out all the way up all right so i'm going to as much water if i close this the water is going to pump out here but once i open this the extra water is going to shoot out here so you're not putting any pressure on the pump because you don't want to just do one valve up here if it's an expensive pump and because then you're blocking the water circulation and slowing it down and the pump will the bearings will go on it and you'll wreck the pump and that's when it will start making noises really quick so an overflow valve and then just Carve Rob told me he'd just use a different valve and thanks I appreciate your uh, I know you're a smart guy when it comes to this stuff just Carve Rob and I appreciate it so another thing too if you're gonna make a water fountain feature or waterfall make sure you use dry wood because the wood after you you know carve it it's gonna start cracking and then it could crack like even where the pond the pool is up top or down where the pools at the bottom the water's gonna leak out because not everybody's gonna be able to get torch on roofing inside their thing right so I'd make sure you it's probably best to use kiln dried wood because then you know the good chances are it's not gonna crack and um, have fun <laughs> this is I'm probably into this for about 20 hours just have fun and you know just do what you want to do and I want to give a big shout out to Ryan Cook I watched that show last night the cut above and I loved it it had me in suspense kind of uh all you guys know that uh, they did ask me a few years to apply for the show and uh, I wasn't good enough to make it but um, I'm, when I was watching the show I'm glad I didn't make it because I'm not really up to uh, competing I'm just up to having fun like i say in lots of my other videos i'm just a fat guy with a hole in his head having a good time so you know i'm not really into the competition thing the only person i compete with is myself well and just carve up and studio in the lake but um yeah so um check out those channels it's uh just carve rob's my favorite youtube channel and studio on the lake they're both awesome youtube channels and wood carvers they're both whittlers and dremel carvers and chainsaw carvers okay so i'm going to get this pump in here if with this overflow valve set this up and we'll finish the video off big l there ain't no big final for this i'm going to be honest i was going to carve like a koi fish or another lotus flower to put on top of it but i'm just kind of done and i got to move on with this tree project and I'm, i got to get back to work pretty soon too so let's get the pump and watch this sucker flow So now I'll go slow to open up the valve a bit so more water can go into the tank. And less water comes pouring out here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. The water still comes out of this eye a little bit weird. I'll fix that later. But I'm happy. I recut deeper in here and stuff too. I don't know if I showed you guys that so the water wouldn't splash so much. Now it's just staying right in track. It makes a beautiful sound. I'll go down here with the microphone. That's all you want is just a nice little water sound. I can even turn it down a little bit. Watch this eye. I know this video is dragging on. I don't give a shit. Perfect. Awesome. Love it. Pumped up. That's it, everybody. 
Hope you're all good and uh, thank you for all uh, following along with this uh, water fountain journey. Um, Big L, there's one more thing I got to do for you. It's nothing crazy, but anyways, carry on. Okay, so these are the string lights that I bought from uh, Amazon. I think they're 40 bucks. These ones are waterproof. There's a controller. So they're thicker. They got like a rubber coating on the outside of them. And I didn't know that one. They were thicker. That's a sensor tab that you uh, have to show when you're using the remote control, which is good because you don't have to show the whole white box. So there I'm putting in. I got the sensor pad there glued on the back. There's this little sensor. I got it sticking out the side. You can paint it black if you want. There's the lights going in through. The uh, I, I glue it in later. And here the, the lights just kind of sitting there. And I'm going to start uh, hot gluing them in. I ha This was a real, real son of a gun. I had to carve real deep back in there to uh, get these lights. I carved it already, but then once I seen the lights were thicker because of the rubber coating for waterproof... I had to carve a lot deeper to get them uh, to sit in there decent so you can't see them from a uh, straight on view because it just kind of annoys me if you can see the light the lights themselves. So um, that's that. And uh, here's a little hot glue gun I used. I am going to be epoxying them in uh, at another date when I get some more time. Make sure they never, never come out. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here's the lights in place. You can see them from a side view but not the front view. And here I am bitching again how far and deep I had to uh, carve that. It's like carving back. You know, and like I said in an earlier video, when you're carving an area like this, you got the dust. Doesn't matter how good your dust mask is, unless you got one of those back filter ones. But i um, happy with the progress. And so here's me just showing you the uh, remote control. When I did this, um, how the remote control works with it, when I did the... Uh, the, the video with the special effects for Big L there, the grand finale, I had a microphone, a wireless microphone, I clipped it onto the side and then it fell into the friggin' pool of water. So I did like probably 30 minutes filming without knowing that the, that microphone didn't work. So then I had to redo everything again too because I make videos for Instagram. I'll, I'll be making a video for Instagram and my own personal Facebook to um, 
show everybody the waterfall and just you know just put some uh, some music on it and whatever just gives it a bit more character and it's fun to do i enjoy editing videos so what's going on here and I want you to see, for the people that have been watching this whole series, I painted it half of the face red. Look, this is not just a camera effect. This is actually in real life. The red goes away at certain points when a certain light comes on. You don't even see the red. So I know exactly what colors I painted this with. Like, watch. See how the red goes away? Here's a better view. Boom, no red. It will last longer here. Right there, no red. It's gone. So that's in real life too from my own eyes. So I know exactly what colors I'm going to use. So I am going to be doing something in a later date with these colors to make it so when the light changes, that red goes away. I think it, I was like, is this an optical illusion or what is it? But no, I just, and it even looks super cooler in real life. I just thought that was super neat. So I had to drive to the shop when it was uh, dark out. I had to go there at 10.30 tonight. It's like 3 in the morning now. This will be Saturday's video. There's, it comes from a simple wood carving. Well, not simple, but a wood carving. There it is. And uh, when I got home, I realized I had two completely different pairs of shoes on. Silly little owl. I'm going to be carving a silly little owl like that soon. Never forget about Dick, do the fat grumpy, just, uh, fat grumpy mushroom. Thanks for the support, everybody, and um, we'll see you soon.